Hey, it's Brendan from AceTennisOnline.com. Now let me show you one of the classic examples and mistakes that I see uh, in tennis when trying to be offensive. And one of the number one mistakes is, keep watching this video to find out. All right, now I told you I'm gonna show you the number one mistake that I always see, so let's get right into it. So one of the number one things that I see is trying to go down the line when out of position. Now, first of all, big disclaimer, I'm not saying you shouldn't go down the line, but I, let me sh show you one thing that I see that costs a lot of recreational players points. So, in our typical scenario, in the natural evolution of a point, it's almost, I, well, it's almost inevitable, basically, to get into that forehand cross-court rally, right? At some point in, in a match, in a rally, in a game, you're almost, you're almost always going to end up there at some point, whether it's a forehand or a backhand cross-court rally, but let me, see, let me show you what typically happens. So you're in that cross-court exchange, and let's say you hit, it, you hit a nice shot, you get your opponent off court. Okay. Now, what do you see? You see a wide open court, so you've just made up your mind, hey, my opponent is so far off the court, I'm going to hit into the open court, I'm going to win the point. Okay, not bad. But you cannot make that decision before you have the most important piece of information, which is where you're going to be hitting the ball, which means where is the ball going to bounce or where are you going to hit the ball on your side? Because what I see a lot of times is your opponent is hitting a cross-court shot back, so by the time you're now making contact, your opponent isn't off the court anymore, but they're actually here now. So now what happens is you've just made up your mind to go down the line. Now down the line is great when you want to be aggressive, but it doesn't make sense when you're out of position. So I see too many people and too many players trying to now hit that ball down the line when they're somewhere back here. Not inside the baseline, they're off the court and they're trying to hit that ball down the line. Now, that ball bounces somewhere here and your opponent on the next shot can easily take it into the open court and you'll be running for days. Now how do we avoid that? We got two options. Or two options that I would recommend for right now to, to quickly prevent you from making this super easy mistake. So let's take a look. All right, number one, when you go down the line, because what, 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 uh, what I see a lot of times in this shot is they're aiming low. Now you're aiming over the highest part of the net and you're hitting a shorter shot. Now this ball travels longer, which means the ball will be in the air longer. Now this shot will be traveling shorter, which means by the time your opponent is making contact, you're not gonna have a lot of time to recover. So, if you're gonna go down the line to switch up the dynamics, make sure to hit a lot of net clearance. So instead of going for that, that lower, shorter shot, let's go for a higher, loopier shot that gets depth. Now depth is an incredibly powerful tool to prevent your opponent from going on offense. So if you hit the high shot down the line, that makes a complete difference because now you're going to end up pushing them back and they're probably going to end up coughing something shorter and now you can attack. So which means the entire idea of this is don't pull the trigger at the wrong time. If you're out of position and that typically means if you're in the Oops. If you're in the green somewhere, it's really hard to be offensive with it. So make sure if you're out of position, go for a higher shot with more depth and wait to have an opportunity to attack when you're inside the court. Especially, you probably want to be somewhere in the middle because now you can hit that ball more easily to the outside and you can attack. But the main goal of this is again, <laughs> don't make that super simple strategy mistake and hit, be aggressive when you're out of position. So hitting down the line and hitting that short, harder ball just gets on your opponent's racket way too quickly and you're gonna be out of position. So make sure to either, one, hit that high loopy shot down the line or hit that higher, loopier shot cross court to get depth on your shot and prevent your opponent from going on offense. So you have to have a little patience, but I know you got this. And if you're gonna follow this simple little uh, tip, you're gonna end up losing less points when you're not supposed to be on offense, you're going to win more points, you're going to win more matches, and you got this. So make sure to give it a like if you found this valuable. Uh, share this video with a friend or a teammate. 
uh, because that's an excellent way to help support this channel. Now, if, again, if you like this, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already to never miss a great coaching tip again. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.